notes. Don't know if I'll ever like them. Batten down the hatches, boys! Chill, Mikey. This isn't the time to be goofing around. No! This is the time for you to be decimated! Karai? Stand down, Karai. Our fight's with your grandfather. This doesn't involve you. As the Shredder's second in command, all his conflicts involve me. You of all... Uh, people should know that, Leonardo. Why Shredder got his JV squad stinking up the docks and the river anyways? This is Angel's turf. Your ally, the vigilante who ridiculously calls herself nobody, no longer holds sway here. The docks and these waters are now under the dominion of Master Shredder. The Foot Clan rules it all. And soon, much, much more. Beyond sight. You need some serious anger management help. You will not be able to handle what is coming, fool! The mission is faring well? Could be worse, I suppose. We'll find Splinter, Leo. I promise. Yeah. Thanks, April. Moving on, though. I got tired of the mess around here and decided to toss some of your stuff in an old chest by the dojo. If you need anything before heading out, that'll be the place to find it. Aw, oh, thanks, April. Mighty kind of you. Don't get used to it. I got a lot better things to do with my time than to clean up after you guys. Here's hoping you take the overly obvious hint.
talk about increasing my profits. Are you there, Sensei? It's Leonardo. Yes, I am here, my son. Father, I... Respectfully, I want to apologize to you. If it wasn't for me falling for Shredder's ambush, maybe all this wouldn't... Please, Leonardo, say no more. Your apology is unnecessary, as I told you before. You are not the only one Orokusaki caught unawares this day. But if I'd been able to stop him on the rooftops, or even delayed him a little bit, we might not have lost you. And yet, it was not only the Shredder you faced. You were one against many, Leonardo. And despite such treacherous odds, you were able to battle many foes by yourself and still return home in order to lead your brothers in the mission to recover me. But how do I lead them, Father? I'm trying, but I couldn't even get us past Leatherhead. And he's nowhere near the warrior Shredder is. It's just... I've always had you to guide me before. Remember all I have taught you, Leonardo. The words and the training, and you will never lack my guidance. My faith in your ability to lead this family in my place knows no bounds. You have prepared all your life for this moment, and you are ready. I hope so, Father. I know so, my son. Father! I don't know if you can hear me, but please, I need you. Young one, why are you troubled? The others are so strong, brave, and I'm totally not any of those things. The way Karai was teasing us after she beat us really got to me. I'm, I'm scared, father. My son, it is a brave and strong warrior who can admit his own fears and yet continue to battle forward. But what if I can't? Battle forward, I mean. You can. And you will, just as you always have. You need only believe in yourself as much as I believe in you. Okay, Father. I, I promise I'll try my best. And Father? Yes, Michelangelo? I really miss you. Like, a lot. I miss you too, my precious child. Man, it was so great to see the big guy again. Yeah, and save him from scales for brains, too. Slash will definitely be a critical asset to have on our side moving forward. I agree, but he's still gotta be careful. And so do we. We might have taken down Leatherhead this time, but it sure didn't sound like he planned to stay down. Why would he, Don? Dude's a glutton for punishment. He gets up again, we'll just give him more of what he wants. How may I be of assistance, Donatello? The foot seems to be employing a large amount of stock gen tech. Hack into this, search for a client list, uh, purchase records, serial numbers, anything that could give us insight into who's really involved. Command acknowledged. Stock gen? Why in the world would Baxter Stockman want to get caught up in Foot Clan business? Especially now that he's mayor. Huh? Money for all we know. Or power. I mean, that's his regular MO, at least. Uh, regardless, let's see what we can learn. Uh, could be more going on here than we first thought. Paging Michelangelo! 
Back already? Did you win? Negative. My scanners indicate significantly decreased levels of serotonin. Forget us, Metalhead. Uh, run a complete scan on the portal to see if we can track any traces of unique energy. Tell your oversized talking calculator not to bother, Donnie. All I found was traces of loser. We gotta get back out there and pop that pouty pool float. Yeah, father's counting on us. And so is Slash. Oh no, is Slash in trouble too? Leatherhead has Slash, April. And even if he didn't, there's no other way through the sewers. We have to face him. That's not all. I've been listening to the police scanners. Sounds like everything's a mess above ground too. I let Angel know about Master Splinter. Casey too, just before we got cut off. I hope he's okay. Jones knows how to take care of himself. He'll be all right, April. Just please stay safe out there, guys. Whatever this is, it's big. Sewers are easy mode.
Junk bonds, but scrap money. There ain't room enough for either of you. Ten cans all day. Junk to good use. Come one, come all. Better have something good this time. Take care, young Terrapin. You're still here? I am always here. Better have something new for us, or you're off to Purple Magic Land real quick.
over to me. I feel sorry for him. He's being tricked by Shredder. Well, it seems that way. I've never heard of science that allows for retransformation. Let's go. It ain't exactly Rupert's, but it'll do. Don't know if I like fighting above ground or below more. These are important questions. junk.
special. I got alternating courage to go with my alternating fists. I guess we gotta go see this guy. Come one, come all. Yeah, yeah. Gotta take advantage of it while it lasts. Best wishes on your trial. Still here. You know what that means. Karai. All hands on deck, fellas. How exactly are we gonna get back to shore? <laughs> I'm fast, ye landlubbers! Mikey, please. Last time... Last time, you failed miserably. <laughs> Were you not embarrassed to crawl back here? Shameless.
right, take it from a guy who knows. You need serious anger management help. You will not be able to handle what is coming, fool! I'm the fiery one! Trouble, you are. This is when I get stronger. We don't stop. I'm not in trouble. You are. We don't stop. This is when I get stronger. I'm not in trouble. You are. This is when I get stronger. You may have won the battle, but the war has just begun. Well, she ain't very good at either of them. Took off like a scared bunny rabbit. Through another portal. There's something bigger going on here than just a typical foot abduction, guys. I mean, I still think there's a logical explanation to all of this, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't starting to have some doubts. You ain't the only one, Donnie. Guys. Something totally weird happened. Hey, Angel. What is it? So, I'm patrolling the hood for foot punks looking to rumble. When all of a sudden, everything gets real quiet, like dead silent. Then I hear this creepy voice in my head, telling me that I'm supposed to give you guys something for all your hard work. Whoa, that is weird. And not just the first time we're hearing something like this. So, what did creepy voice give you to give us, Angel? This. It's some kind of magic pizza box, I think. Whoa, magic what? Pizza box. The voice said it's specially insulated somehow. Supposed to increase the duration of some kind of blessing. Whatever. Then the voice was gone. First mystery portals and now mystery prizes? Mystery pizza! Whatever it is, I'd sure like to know who this voice is and why they're giving us these gifts. It all just seems strange to me. That's probably just the insulated anchovies, dude. Angel! Talk about a sight for sore eyes. Yeah, and... wait a sec. Nobody will help us. Ha <laughs> ha! I get it now, Leo. Good one. Whatever, Mike. Anyway, you doing all right, Angel? Crackpot Karai made it sound like you were in some kind of trouble. She wasn't exactly lying. The whole city's gone stinking nuts. There's foot creeps popping up everywhere, and the cops got their hands full. So I've been busy keeping tabs on my dad's bar and the rest of the docks. Sorry I couldn't get here faster to help you dudes, but I figured something fishy was happening on this boat. Was checking it out when a bunch of foot freaks jumped me below decks. <laughs> Big mistake for those dweebs. You don't need to apologize. We're just glad you're okay. Yeah, I'm good to go, all things considered. But April let me know about what happened to your dad. That sucks, man. It's gonna suck way worse for Shredder, I guarantee that. Speaking of, do you have any idea what the foot are up to, Angel? No clue other than Shredder's gone full all-hands-on-deck mode. Word on the street is those doofuses Bebop and Rocksteady are mixed up in all this, too. And we all know those psychos don't make a move without Shredder or Karai say so. You heard from Casey at all? Nada. I've been trying to call him, but all I'm getting is voicemail. I'm starting to get worried he's in trouble, which I know ain't exactly breaking news for him. Don't stress too much about Casey, Angel. That lunkhead probably just smashed up his cell phone in another scuffle. 
Casey and fancy gadgets don't exactly mix. Or maybe Casey just forgot to charge it. I totally do that all the time. Yeah, you're probably right. I just wish I had better 411 for you guys. Not your fault, trust me. We're all in new territory here. Something's not adding up. Well, whatever the big picture is, we don't have time to wait around for answers. Yeah, we gotta get moving before Shredder sends more of his freak army to slow us down. Just watch your backs. No telling what other tricks Shredded Wheat's got up his spiky sleeves. We're good, Angel, no worries. Get back to the Scar of Bray and take care of your dad. And we'll go make sure Casey's okay. You guys ready for a swim? In that water? <laughs> Do you realize how many toxins it contains? Come on, Don. You only live once, bro. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, guys. You there? Can you read me? Coming in loud and clear, April. Uh, sorry for going silent, but we just finished tangling with the Foot Clan. Don't you mean just another day in freaking paradise? We're all good, April. How are things in the lair? We're staying busy here, but I still haven't heard back from Casey. I'm really starting to get worried. Those foot freaks wouldn't stand a chance against Casey's bat. He's fine. You're probably right, Raph. But it, it's just not like him to go dark for so long. Got you covered, April. We'll find him. Thanks, Mikey. Oh, one more thing. Police are saying the punk frogs are on the move. The punk frogs? Huh. Guess our running at the local scrap shop in the sky didn't go so well. Meh, who cares about those ribbit boys? Call the purple dragons, call the mutanimals, bring them all on, I'm ready. Okay, enjoy yourselves, I guess. And don't forget about Casey. Like I'd forget about Jones. Dude still owes me five bucks. Stockman using his stupid toys to harass citizens now, or what? for one team of mean green fight machines on these streets.
guess we gotta go see this guy. Ah, welcome, welcome, my Colonian friends. Hey, hey, watch the chum talk, pal, and what's with the name calling? Chelonian, Raph. It's just another word for the Testodyne order. Yeah, but that's my point, bro. Just because we're mutants doesn't mean he has to get into test tubes and all that. Chill, Raph. My nose is telling me this dude's got some sweet pizzas. You don't gotta be so mean. Indeed, I have a fresh piping hot pie that just finished its sojourn in the oven. Come and see. Guys, get what you need. We're not staying here long. Oh, recent developments, a recent one indeed. I have heard of the trinkets you carry, a variety of trinkets that grant you boons of all kinds. This guy knows too much, I'm telling you. Yes, what of it? A convenience, really. Uh, think of it as my exceptionally custom efforts at exceptional customer service. <laughs> yes. Uh, you can find your trinkets here now, or artifacts, as you call them. He's stealing, dudes. Oh, of course not, Red One. How silly. Your trinkets are your own. I merely make them available to you here. But how's that possible? Ah, it is possible because we've simply made it so. Exceptional customer service, I tell you, exceptional. Okay, I'm gonna need a bit more information. Don't worry, don't worry. All is well, all is well. We're here merely to serve. Guys, there's far weirder stuff going on than having our stuff in two places at once. Just make the best of it. Change whatever you need to, and we're back on mission. We've spent too much time here already. He said he had a hot pizza, dudes. Let's get after it! Uh, don't know about you guys, but I'm beginning to lose all sense of surprise. The chairman. Dudes, it's like some kind of crazy city for crazy people. Sounds just like New York, if you ask me. any scrap in this pizza. This'll do. You were in here with that Gengabitis guy. Do you know those punk jumpers were gonna come after us? Well, if it isn't the high spirited red one, so nice to see you again. Nice, my stubby fat tail. What of it, chair man? Tell us what you got on the frogs, or I'm gonna sit on you so heavy your legs will break. Raph, easy. It is not my business to divulge the business of my clientage. I am merely here to serve. Getting awfully tired of this guy's sense of service. He's playing both sides. The presence of Genghis here is certainly a curious question, but it's also possible that whatever has us tied up in this mess has the punk frogs tied up in something similar. Yeah, 
glad the chairman doesn't have anything to do with that, Raph. Just think about real life. A shop's a shop. People just come and go all the time. Doesn't really matter who they are. Whatever, I don't just do my shopping in any old hole. Something is fishy around here and this guy's got the stench. Look, if the punk frogs come back here, tell them we want to talk. There has to be some misunderstanding. Oh, most certainly, Blue One. Whatever is of service. Take care, young Terrapin. Best wishes on your trial.
arsenal. is on the menu. is a junk. Elite, prove it. Oh, where that came from. Don't worry about me. Greetings, mutants. I come in peace and mean you no harm. Uh, did you guys hear that? Or am I going crazy? Definitely heard that. Me too. Now we got voices in our heads? What the crud's next? Yes, no sense fighting it at this point. <clears throat> what can we do for you, oh great voice from out of nowhere? <laughs> I ask nothing of you. I simply wish to extend you an opportunity. I see that you are enduring a trial of considerable measure, and I can offer you blessings inside this trial that will benefit you. How exactly? I see that your father has managed to channel dragon coins to your benefit. I can perform a similar feat with dreamer coins. We don't have any of those. Wait, do we, fellas? <laughs> oh, but you will, in fact. Allow me to give you some now. You've surely earned them. Okay. Now what do we do? I have imbued my spirit into the tapestry near your father's shrine. Simply bring the coins to me there, and I will offer my blessings. You sure this ain't a trick? <laughs> no trick. The coins will not come to you easily. You will have to earn them. But once you have, I will happily channel them to your assistance. Why are you helping us? Your foe is powerful. More powerful than you can possibly imagine. I only wish to balance the scales. It is my nature. Hello? Hello? Did she just hang up? It totally sounded like she hung up! Well, I say we cash in some coins.
Metalhead, can you give me an update on the microchip I gave you to analyze before? Affirmative. Analysis complete. Top-level configuration consists of standard stockchain operational code, command controls for mousers, etc. Open source? Both open source and proprietary. Most of which we have already accessed in the past. However, the drive also contains inert sub-configurations protected by military-grade encryption. What do you mean, inert? Hidden ghost code that I posit contained command executables serving an unknown purpose. Huh. Kind of like the computer version of a sleeper agent. Affirmative. But why would Stockman hide ghost code inside his own code? It's like he's hacking himself. Yeah, it is strange. But we gotta find out what's in that hidden code before we can jump to any conclusions. Metalhead, do what you can to break through that encryption. Command acknowledged. Correct me if I'm wrong, Metalhead, but with this new info, we should be able to, shall we say, borrow some stock gen tech to occasionally support you guys from afar. If you are equating borrow with hack into and control, that is affirmative, April O'Neil. Wow, that's exciting. Right? So keep an eye out for some friendly support drops while you're out there. We'll have to keep it low key for now. Don't want to set off any unnecessary alarms with the powers that be. Come on! 
Talk about increasing my profits. Angel should have an easier time keeping the docks under control now that we push Karai out of the way. For now, at least. Didn't sound like a Karai baby was ready to throw in the towel, or should I say Hanky, just yet. Angel can handle Karai, no problemo, Raph. Her nobody suit is fire! No kidding. High-tech and highly effective all-in-one sleek package? And her exosuit is science and engineering that I can wrap my head around. Unlike these crazy portals we've been dealing with. That's okay, Donnie. You guys keep tackling the bad guys above ground, and we'll investigate the science mystery down here. Affirmative. All circuits and nodes are activated and fully engaged to accomplish that directive. Uh, yeah. Something like that. Hey! The legend of a turtle named Donatello. Yo! Gotta get back to the... You know me, bro. I need to get back to the... Okay. If my estimations are correct, there does seem to be some kind of collaborative effort happening between Shredder and Baxter Stockman. I wouldn't exactly call them buds, but I'll bet there's probably a lot of money being exchanged between the Foot Clan and Stockgen right now. Before Mike makes right, foot boats, bots, and purple stinking magic everywhere. What a whacked out ride are we taking? I'm seriously ready to shut it down. Seems like you guys have been running into a lot of stock gen out there. More like costing old Baxty boy a lot of dough. We probably blasted over a hundred of his dumb machines. Well, you didn't get it from me, but a birdie brought this by in case it could be helpful. Nothing quite like having friends in high places. What can I say? You guys are lucky to have me around. This is our turf. Anything else ain't invited. Get over here. Mr. Mouser 
2.0 to old Raft 1-2. Say intended. Scrap around. Welcome, young ones. Got my eye on you, bench boy.
Time for that invisible lady who's always talking to us to put her money where her mouth is. Best wishes on your trial. Let's get this over with. Exactly. As we're fighting, we're on the right track. Like you dudes took care of business on the boat, huh? Angel! Yo, good to see you. And we ain't the only ones handling our business. Seems like you've been handing a brutal beating to Karai and her stinking goon squad, too. Yeah, well, I'm not about to let that shredder wannabe run right in my hood without a fight. She wants to play, she's gonna pay. That's what I'm talking about. Thing is, these foot freaks got thick skulls. No matter how hard you knock them around, they keep missing the message that maybe it's time to quit. We ain't done with Karai yet. So you're saying that psycho ship has yet to sail? Oh, come on, guys. Maybe Mikey's bad puns are what we need to sink Karai's barge. Anchors away! where her mouth is.
is on the menu. Time to put this junk
by land or by sea. How exactly are we gonna get back to shore? We're back, lady. And I will send you home. Anger management help. You will not be able to handle what is coming, fool! I will have your filthy mutant head. Yuck! No one wants Raph's head. <laughs> yeah, just sitting there permanently scowling at you. Nightmare fuel. You guys done? Can we go now? Absolutely. Off the port bow. Land ho! What? No ranch dressing? Who's the next victim of the Raphael hit parade? Bad to the bone. These clowns want to throw money after money? Keep them coming. Go see this guy. New merchandise and fresh fare. 
Got my eye on you, bench boy. Take advantage of it while it lasts. Bring more scrap. I'll bring more provisions. Forces. Gotta watch out for the missiles.
anyone can call themselves elite, prove it! Junk to good use. Come one, come all. We could have something good this time. Exactly Rupert's, but it'll do. This'll do. Please do come again. Is it just me or does this place look like it got redecorated by a bunch of angry kindergartners? Bebop and Rocksteady. What's the matter, Titles? You don't look so happy to see us. After we busted our humps to fix the place up all special like for you chumps. Yeah, I even cracked my poor sledgehammer juniper in half while we was working. But that's okay. Got me this sweet new laser machine gun instead. Meet Juniper Junior. What do you two supersized idiots think you're doing? Turning this hood into some kind of whacked out playground for pea brains? More like Slayground. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Rock. <laughs> Knuckleheads don't. We're like turtles in a barrel here. Watch out for lasers. The shield is blocking the way.
Extra tingles. Negatives and all. More like double trouble. Those dudes are like crazy strong. Like fighting stupid on steroids. Watch out! Gugula! Gugula! I don't have any scrap in this Pete. That boozo just found out the hard way why Casey Jones owns the New York State record for penalty minutes in one game. Yo, Case, finally decided to get your slacker butt off the bench and into the game, or what? <laughs> Didn't want to show you boys up. Besides, I know how much you ninja dudes dig training, so who was I to get in the way of all your fun? Well, we've been getting plenty of that tonight. The training part, not the fun. The Foot Clan are crawling all over the city, creating havoc. And they kidnapped our sensei, too. Yeah. April called and told me all about Master Splinter. 
before I busted my phone duking it out with some foot scrubs near the second time around store. I knew it. You're practically keeping the phone company in business all by yourself, bro. Ain't that the truth? And I was handling things pretty good against those twerps, too. Till B Slop and Rocks for Brains showed up and started trashing the place. I tell ya, fighting ninja dweebs is one thing. But all these freaks the foot's got running around means Shredder's dead serious about stirring things up. Well, if he thinks that's gonna stop us, he's dead wrong. We're gonna rescue our father, come hell or high water. What's to worry? The five of us can take down those idiots, no sweat. Yeah, about that. As much as I'd love to help you stick it to Shredhead, I can't go with you guys. This hood's gonna be screwed if I don't hang around and keep an eye on things. It's cool, Casey. Just be careful. Same goes for you, fellas. The foot might be idiots, but they're dangerous idiots. You just gotta be smarter than them. Street smart. It's like I always say. Think first, punch second. Since when did you ever say that, Jones? Since just now. Now get out of here and go save your old man. And make sure you crack a few foot noggins for me while you're at it. Consider it done. Okay, guys, this is where it all started. This is where the foot ambushed me while they were kidnapping father from the lair. That's funny, because this is where it's gonna end, too, once we stomp Shredder and his dork army. Talk about a full circle. Pretty sure you mean full circle, Raph, but it'd be pretty foolish of us to assume we'll find Master Splinter here. We're just operating on hearsay and best guesses at this point. Maybe, but everything we've gone through tonight points in this direction, Don. I respect your need for rock-solid evidence, but sometimes you just gotta trust your gut. Besides, Father did tell us Shredder's part of all of this somehow. If this is where Leo saw him last, then I say we have to at least check it out. And then knock him out. All right, I agree it's worth investigating. I'm with you guys, no matter what. That's the spirit, bro. We just ain't the same without our super geek tagging along. Uh, don't push it, Raph. Check it out. 
out. More stock gen junk to smash. Elite. Prove it! Let's <laughs> go. 
a drawing board with you pieces of junk. Anyways. You're on top of the world. Next minute, you're deep down in the sewers. Wouldn't exactly call the New York rooftops the top of the world right now, Leo. More like top of all the crazy. Uh, maybe, but it was the closest we've gotten to figuring out where the craziness is coming from. And saving father. Then I guess we better get back on our feet and get back up there. Because I'm not about to let the Foot Clan keep us down. 